guys, welcome back to the Lightford house. I was gonna do a, another wood fire grill video today, but I decided that I'm gonna save that and do burgers probably over the weekend, and that video will go up maybe this weekend or early next week. So I decided I'm just gonna grill some chicken on the Ninja Foodie Grill inside. Now, I just took three large chicken breasts from Sam's Club. So I took three, cut them in half to appear as six chicken breasts here and all I've done was put some avocado oil on them and then I'm putting some orange pepper on there. This orange pepper is pretty good. I used it a few times now and I think there's like an, a lime pepper as well and then there's the lemon pepper which we also have and then there's like a sriracha or something. S some type of spicy one. It may not be sriracha but anyway. Yeah so this one's really good. Highly recommend it. I'm just going to flip these over and season the other side. I like to take my tongs and just kind of pat that seasoning down into the chicken before I flip them over and season them on the other side. Got the foodie grill preheating over here and I've got it on low, which is 400. And I've set the timer for 25 minutes on it. We may not need that full time, but we're gonna go ahead and let that preheat and see where it gets us. All right guys, the foodie grill is now heated up. And just to let you know, I've only used the orange pepper. It's already got some salt and stuff in it, so I didn't add anything else. Just make sure that you season your chicken really, really well. And I am going to go ahead and spray the grill grate of my foodie grill with some non-stick spray, even though it has a non-stick coating on it. Sometimes stuff tends to stick on there, so I'm just going to go ahead and spray it down before I add the chicken. You want to hear that sizzle. So, I don't know if all six of these will fit. We don't want to overcrowd it. But we'll see what we can fit on here. Maybe we can do four and then add the other two and cook them in batches. Either way, so yeah, I'm just going to start with the four and then I'll cook the other two here once these are finished. If we were outside on the wood fire, it would probably hold all six pieces with no issues. But we'll also test that out and see how much we can fit on there as well. So, let's go ahead and close the lid and let this go. Alright guys, we're almost five minutes in and we're going to lift the lid and take a peek. You hear that sizzle? Let's get the tongs and check the underside. Actually, let's get a little clean pair of tongs here. Just to take a peek. Let's see if we have any... No, nope, no grill marks on there. I'm going to let them go a little bit longer on that side. Maybe about two more minutes or so, and then we'll flip them over and let them go on the other side. All right, guys, here is the chicken off the grill. You can see the little grill marks there. So I let it go up into about the seven-minute mark, and then I pull them off, just letting them rest here. And then we're going to cut into one and see what, what it's looking like. If you notice, there is some juice down here on the plate, which is what we want. Don't want dry chicken. Don't overcook your chicken. You want to make sure it's cooked through, but don't overcook it. So we're going to serve this up with some dinner rolls and some steamed broccoli and call it a meal. All right, guys, I've cut into the chicken. It's nice and cooked all the way through. All right, guys, we're going to get a bite of this chicken and see how it tastes. Mmm. It's still plenty juicy. That orange pepper is delicious, guys. If you can find the orange pepper in your local grocery store, I highly recommend you checking it out. That's all you need on some chicken with that oil, and it's going to have some amazing flavor. Make sure you like the video if you're new, and hit that subscribe button. Join my family here on YouTube for plenty of more cooking videos to come. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.